Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are going to be making a lovely fascinator for the hair. You guys know I'm obsessed with these and it's time to make another one. So I found this. I remember buying this like last year because I was going to turn it into like a really cool shoe clip and I bought two of them and I don't know where the other one is. So I'm going to make it into a hair clip instead. So I got it from a craft store and it's actually already on a clip. So like 90% of the work is done. The back looks like that. It's not quite like hair clip, but um, it's basically a hair clip in clear plastic form. And it actually looks super cute on already, right? Like, it's pretty adorable. So you don't need to do a lot, but like, it needs something. So it's just like a swirl of black feathers. I was looking around my collection and what I have, and at first I was thinking like some flowers on there. Didn't quite fit. I was going to do like draping pearls. Not quite the look. And then I remembered my gems that I'm like currently obsessed with. These are great. So I got five of the trapezoid ones, just like that. And pearl, you know, I can't, can't resist putting a pearl on. Gonna be in the center. So I'm gonna do like this, like ooh, five pointed flower starburst type thing with a pearl in the center. And I think that's gonna be just enough glam to really offset the, the overall look of this, but also not overpower it, if you know what I mean. But also the center of it is just swirling black feathers like as cool as it is and as like striking as it is like this area here is pretty plain like it needs something so it's not a huge overhaul video today but i think it's going to be cool and i think that it's going to turn into something that like i like and into something that i love and just totally want to wear so uh, i will link everything i use down in the description below as always and we're just going to get right into it i have my hot glue gun heating up so I'm going to put the pearl down because this thing is going to go crazy and just fly everywhere. Let's see if it's heated up. Kind of. So I'm going to start with just hot gluing the back of one of these gems. Just put a little jab of glue on here, hold it at the edges, and then figure out how I want this to go. It's going to go in my hair like this based on the barrette, and I want my five-pointed flower pointing up. So what I'm doing is finding the center of the swirl and just putting the point right into the center of the swirl. So just below it, that's basically the center of the clip and that is how I'm measuring it. I'm trying not to lock down the feathers too much and it's okay if they kind of go up and over the gem a little bit. I'm just adding a little extra sparkle. So we're gonna grab our other gems, pop on some hot glue, about the size of a pea or maybe half a pea, just enough to like really make it stick because we got a lot of moving parts on here with the feathers, a lot of moving parts. So I'm lining up the edge of it. Mainly the star pattern is most important. So I want to make sure that my gems line up nicely. Just like that. That's two. Like I said, it's going to be a really fast craft, but I'm really excited for it. That's kind of half of what DIYing is, right? Like taking something that's good and just making it so much better and so much you that you just like are obsessed with it. There we go. Number three, this is looking so good. It totally transforms the look of it, doesn't it? It's not bland at all anymore. It looks great. So we got two more to go and then a pearl and we're done. Also things like this, just adding like a couple gems to something that you bought at the store is a really inexpensive way to make something look kind of high end or more expensive than it was originally. All right, the last one. Ooh, it got me. Darn it. The last one is on. It's looking good, but it needs a pearl. There we go. So sparkly. All right. So the pearl is obviously a bead with a giant hole in the center. So we don't want that to show. So go 90 degrees to that on the edge. When you put your glue on there, try really hard not to burn yourself and pop it right into the center. Ooh, it's trying to escape me right into the center like that. Look at that. It's so sparkly. It's perfect. It's glammed up. It's everything I want. Less than a five minute craft, but you know what? Sometimes that's all it takes for perfection. We're going to pop this in the hair. I never know when it's like back here and I turn like what's on camera and what's not, but like, oh, that looks so good. I can see in the camera lens on my phone, like the little feathers so you know there's like something dramatic there and then you turn around it's like flashes sparkle amazing i love it i hope you guys do too thanks so much for joining me on this one and i'll see you here again soon
Bye for now. All right, here is your zoom in. Have you ever seen anything so luxe? Gorgeous. I love these gems. Like seriously, I love them. Look at all the colors coming off of them. They are beautiful. And the little pearl offsets them nicely, makes them look like a flower. Surrounded by fabulous feathers. Oh, this is it. It's so beautiful.